In this video, we're going to create a glitch sound in Pure Data. Whenever we listen to artists like Aphex Twin, Square Pusher, or Venetian Snares, we hear this glitch effect, especially applied to the drums. It's one of the main elements of breakbeat, IDM, and other genres in that sphere. So how do we achieve this sound? Well, let's first talk about buffer real quick. We can treat buffer as an empty space in which we can record a sound into, and it's not intended for something permanent. We typically replace the sound often, especially when doing glitch. After recording a sound into a buffer, we have ourselves a sample looper. So here's a recording of a snare hit put inside of a sampler buffer. We can loop it, change the duration, and also the speed. Cool, so we got that glitch sound happening. But is it possible to do all of this in real time? For example, can we have a generated break beat playing during a live performance, and would it be possible to apply a glitch effect to it like what we're hearing right now? Yes, we can. Here's an example of what that will sound like, and we'll analyze what's going on. So we have an ambient sound, bass, and drums that can be treated as separate tracks. And these are all being created from a generative sequencer in Pure Data. What we can do is record a small portion of the drums and put it into a buffer and create glitch sounds with it like earlier. And while the glitch sound is playing, the drums will be muted. New drum patterns will continue being generated algorithmically, but we won't hear it. The ambient sound and bass will also continue being generated as well. And with these, we'll hear them along with the glitch. After we're done messing around with the glitch sound, we can mute it and unmute the drums. Of course, this isn't the only approach. For example, you can apply glitch to every sound and also stop the sequencer temporarily. All right, let's start sound designing. We'll first do a simple glitch sound, and then we'll do the glitched out generated breakbeat afterwards. Okay, please open up Pure Data and we'll get right into it. In the delay tutorial, I said that if the feedback volume is set at 1, the sound will repeat for all eternity. And we can actually use that to our advantage here. We essentially create a looper. For example, we have a snare sound here and we'll play it once into the delay buffer. So we have the snare sound looping here and we can change the delay time and get a cool glitch sound happening. And we can simply empty out the buffer by changing the feedback volume to zero. And that's about it. We were able to get a really cool sound just with a few steps. Okay, let's move on to incorporating this into the generative breakbeat sequencer. So most of the patcher is the same from a previous tutorial. And this right here is what's new. This button will turn on the glitch effect. So let's analyze what'll happen when we click on it. First, the toggle will turn on. This will change the feedback volume from 0 to 1. And the toggle turning on will also mute the drums and unmute the glitch sound, which again can be treated as two separate tracks. And finally, a random number is generated and it's used as a delay time. While it's glitching, we can change the delay time manually using a vertical slider. We also have a key object here so that we can choose one of the keys on the typing keyboard for turning on and off the glitch button. I'm using this key, by the way. Now we don't have to go back and forth between the vertical slider and the button object. Okay, let's listen with bass and ambient added together. And as a reminder, the sequencer continues to run while the glitch sound is happening. So, we got ourselves a nice live performance pure data patcher here. And with an addition of live visuals, projectors, and MIDI controllers, you'll be unstoppable. Please continue customizing this patcher according to your style. I'm excited to see what you're going to do with your live setup. There will be more pure data tutorials coming your way. Stay safe and have fun making music.